The way we bank and the way we withdraw has, of course, transformed over the years. But now, for millions of customers, the experience is to take a huge technological leap. After recent innovations from Barclays and Lloyds, HSBC is to soon roll out voice recognition and fingerprint touch ID services for 15 million customers. But are people wary of biometric banking? You can sound quite similar to other people, so definitely not a voice recognition, no. Cyber security is such an issue these days, so, so the banks are clever people, and, uh, and if they trust it, then I do. I, uh, I, I believe in their expertise. I'm used to using fingerprint recognition. I think it's worked really well, so I think it would be very good, actually. The London tech firm Yoti is developing facial recognition software for multiple uses, including banks, potentially. And then you just take a selfie of yourself. Security comes from a selfie instead of a pin code. But can they be fooled? So what happens if for some reason illegally I try to access his bank details, I use a selfie of myself, is it that secure? Well, here we go. It's checking me. It says your selfie does not match. So in a more extreme example, here is a 3D mask of Paco here. What would happen if for some reason I was posing as him? So if I take a selfie with a mask of Paco on, put that on, your selfie does not match. So only Paco can get access to Paco's bank records. So are passwords and pins now dead? We all spend more of our time online. We have more accounts online. I've got hundreds. The average person's got dozens of these. Yet experts say for each and every one of those accounts, we need to have a different username, a different password that is unguessable, that's got capital letters and punctuation marks. We can't remember all of that. And there's a far more effective way for us to remember all of this and to uniquely identify ourselves right here on the end of our fingers. But however convenient, HSBC customers can choose if they prefer voice and touch or the old-fashioned methods instead. Julian Drucker, 5 News.